guys and gals, and every here for Drake Queen Gaming. It's something my own Twitter, the Gaming Dragon. Today, I'm coming back at another Let's Play episode of Just Friends Wagner's Path. So, yeah, let's go ahead and jump right back in, shall we? Alarm 10, you are up, and let's go. Alrighty. <clears throat> Australian, Australian. I'm the sniper. Okay. Yeah, I mean, I'm glad we found each other again. I was afraid I wouldn't see you again. I mean, you didn't say how much time you would have to stay here. Oh. That subject makes it easier for my arousal to go away, which makes him stop looking down and just stare at me. Well, so... Today's my last day. Tomorrow I'll be going back to my home and my job. This makes him show a different type of emotion I didn't think it would cause on him. His ears go down and his face looks sad. His voice also a little lower than usual. Oh boy! That's... He looks at me. I can see the effort he's doing to get his ears up. Which he does, but his tail is not swishing the way it was before while he was holding me. I mean, I'm glad I could f I could find you again today. Uh, three days only, then? Uh, that's way too little. It should be a week at least, so you can enjoy the pe the place better. Yeah, I wanted that, but I can only get three days off my work, sadly. It's kind of cute, actually, when I think about it right now. He should just say the last sentence with a normal or happy face, you know? But he looked sad when I said this was my last day. Almost like he wanted me to stay here. Not just for me, but, I don't know, to spend time with me? Maybe I'm overthinking it, but it makes me happy. More than I more than I should, actually. So I start to say something, trying to make his mood better. Anyway, I'm sorry for not noticing it was you. I mean, you are a pretty unique dog, but just like humans, at a distance you all look the same sometimes. Hey now, I know there are a lot of dogs and foxes here, but I'm more than unique, you know. I have the best smell of all of them. I laugh. He tries to make a shock expression, but it looks more of indigna indignation and worry. And it's funny. He's not really mad. I can see his tail coming back and forth, back and forth again in a cute, funny way, so I know he's happy now. Ha! <laughs> you think I can smell you from the distance? You may have a good scent, dog, and you do look hot playing tennis, volleyball, and even swimming, but I'm not that acquainted with you to know what, who, who you are from a distance. Even if I take a whiff every single day of your fur, I would only recognize your smell if I was in the same room as you, not in a pool. So, if you have the chance, would you like to smell more of this dog, then? I can feel my face getting hot again. Hey, I never said that, but that's not a bad idea. What? I couldn't hear that last part properly, he asks with his grin again. And of course, he would hear me whispering. He's a dog, for God's sake. He has these big ears, and I'm sure he did hear me. I need to think more quietly and speak less of these things, but hell. I'm going back tomorrow. What am I being so cautious about? Even if we're talking like this now, tom tomorrow I'll be back home in three days isn't enough for asking someone for else or someone else's contact. Odin just like those needy guys who try to talk with the handsome guy who will answer sporadically but eventually would get ignored because we're not friends and I'm not interesting. There you go. Copy that. Hmm. Nothing like some pecan pie coffee. But even if I want to be a little more intimate with him, that's not me. I'm shy and appreciate, and appreciate a good conversation more than just lewd talk. I'm not a horny teenager anymore, so stop it, Aiden. Nothing. A anyway, sorry. I should go back to the edge of the pool. I put my clothes over there and I'm worried someone could come and grab them for some reason. I need to keep watch of them. He looks at me puzzled now. Came here using normal clothes. You know you could use a robe if you didn't want to walk the hotel wearing only a swimming suit, right? Well, I know it now. When I asked one of the staff, I was here already. I was here already, but I was using my swimming trunks underneath my normal clothes. I didn't bring a towel with me, so I need to stay outside to dry, to dry on the sun, though. I was thinking of coming in and then going to the edge and sit there with just my legs inside the pool. Then sit on a chair and stay under the sun a little. Oh, I understand now. Oh, it's a shame. I was gonna ask you to play with me a little, you know. And dive in the way you were right now. I'm pretty sure you could make a good challenge. I'd love to compete with you to see who would get from the edge of the other pool to the to the uh, uh, the edge to the edge to the other pool first. Hey now, I'm not that good of a swimmer. That dive I just did was a lucky shot. I always make it wrong anyway. And if I was good, I wouldn't have hit you in the hit, hit you in the end. Oh, so it wasn't on purpose, eh? Uh, of course not. Gee, dog, you're handsome, you know. But I'm not the type of guy who would just throw himself on the arms of anyone on the third day I see him. Don't they say on the third date couples have sex? My face gets hot in seconds. 
He's smiling, that danger smile. He's messing with me, trying to see if I'm going to fall on his net. I know that game. I won't fall for it. Hey, we aren't dating. I'm not... You don't have to date to have sex, stupid. Hey, we aren't dating. I'm not the type of guy who would think you're interested in me just because you're friendly with me, silly dog. He's smiling that smug smile, so I add. But if I was in a date with you, I would probably want sex by the third date. That's for sure. That gets him out of balance. Oh, well, uh, that's good to know, I guess. I smile at him and then tap his shoulder. Take it as a compliment, okay? I'm going to be on that part of the pool looking at you. But why don't you take your time and then come talk to me? If you want, we can spend a day together. Really? I mean, would you spend your last day here with me instead of chilling and enjoying the place? Sweetie, I enjoy your company more than the place itself, don't worry. It's more refreshing for me to spend the day having a good time with someone else than by myself. Unless you have other plans, I won't be mad if you do. No, that's fine. I just thought you were getting bored of spending your time with me every day. Aw, I wouldn't change a single day if I could do it again. That makes his smile get even wider. His tail lashes right to the left and right after some small talk we decided to do what he, to do just what I said. He got to swim by himself and I swam back to the edge of the to the edge uh, close to my clothes. I sit on the edge of the pool with both my legs still inside the water and letting the rest of my body dry on the sunlight. I look at him having fun by himself, with his gorgeous body, and I try not to get a freaking boner outside the pool. Someone could get here any time, and I don't want to look like a pervert. I remember his green eyes. Two jewel-looking peridots going up and down on my body, noticing my bulge. I'm sure I was pretty hard before, but can you blame me? He's the one who kept me close to his amazing body. Those eyes, though, I could spend my entire day looking at them. He's gorgeous. The sun is bright on the blue sky, and some people come into the pool, but I'm more worried about my things and the dog. I keep looking to both of them all the time. The dog, gorgeous swimming like a pro, and two clo and my clothes sitting on the chair beside the small wooden table without a parasol in the middle. Some time passes and my body is almost dry. The dog's coming slowly to my direction, his tail still swishing right to left. So cute. He's smiling with bright peridot green eyes. I never imagined someone with such beautiful bright green eyes. When he's closer, he waves a paw, and then points to my side. Mind if I sit over here with you? Of course not. You can sit here. And then he does. He puts his paws on the edge at my side and pulls his body up. The water slips down his brown fur, and I keep looking at his arms. He's not big full he's, he's not big full of muscles, but he's not skinny either. His arms look beautiful, and with his fur wet and down, I can see the muscles of his arms and chest better. His swimming trunks now soaked with the rest of his body make it easier for me to look at his bulge if I want to, but I try to be discreet about it. He looks at the pool and I do the same. Now there are more people here. A couple of fox cubs and human kids, too. They're playing together, and their parents are sitting on the chairs on the other side of the pool. <sighs> They're swimming pretty well, and they're probably close in age. Uh, 15 to 16, probably. It's nice to see humans not being dicks to other species. My mother used to tell me that back in the 80s, species avoided interacting too much with each other, having a, having a district for only one species, and before that, back in the 50s, foxes could only get smaller jobs, for example. Humans tried a lot to be on top of this sort of ideal world where they were the best, but the truth is, beast people always existed, and they were as smart and strong as humans. Some countries accepted them, and they used to live in harmony. Others were completely ruled by beast people, others only by humans. When I was little, I remember asking my mother why all that, was, why all, why all that complicated stuff. Aren't we an evolution of our species? The science proves that humans are an evolution of monkeys and the beast people. I don't know why, but I don't think that's a good name for them. They're as rational as us. They look a lot like humans, anyway. Not a long time ago, an international institute found out that humans and other species are all evolved and equal, and they all have a lot of similarities. In that way, it's weird to think that we're living in such peaceful times right now. I mean, there are still people who love being jerks to, to think backward, but... Oh yeah. Oh yeah, that's good stuff, baby. God, why does it sound so sexual? I look to the dog, just to not notice him looking at me, interested somehow. What you thinking? He asked with a curious look in his eyes. Oh, um, oh, just uh, thinking about the events of our past, I guess. He waves his head up and down, saying he understands without words. Peaceful times now, eh? My grandmother used to say dogs weren't allowed in the pools at, all, at a lot of hotels, because they shed a lot of fur. The same for foxes and wolves. I look at him. 
Yeah, I was just thinking about that. Like, if you look, you guys are just like humans, and humans are just like you. We don't have cool tails and fur all over our bodies. Well, some of us have, but I not as good looking as brown fur of a dog. He smiles. Yeah, must be sad not having these cool big ears to hear what people mutter on here and there. We both laugh at his joke. When I think about the past, the past in general, I think it's too much complication for nothing. People love to disagree with different people, and as far as I can see today, humans are growing up and growing less and less in population. There are so many different people today. There's a lot of debate about how to call beast people these days. Beast doesn't suit them. They're way too advanced for that. And can't generalize them. Because they're so different. Yet they're so much like us. In the end, I prefer to call them people. Because that's what they are. That's right. I just wish that people would stop, would just stop seeing the differences, you know? Because in the end, we're all different. Even if another dog comes here and starts talking to us, he wouldn't be another person, right? I was thinking about this type of stuff. People are people, that's what I think. He looks at the foxes and human kids playing in the water, their parents talking like they were friends for a long time, but I can see it, see in his eyes. We both know that this wasn't true at all. This equality situation we're in today doesn't, didn't exist 30 years ago. A fox and a human wouldn't be friends since they were kids because it would be it wouldn't be it would almost be impossible. For our country, it was a necessity to create mixed schools. The government had to issue laws that species-only schools should be prohibited, and that generated a lot of fights in the past. People are evolved today, but it's sad when you think about it. You know, he's so beautiful and so cool talking to me like that, and then I feel happy about the situation. We are evolving. Was it so different for you guys? I mean, you guys had differences between your species too, right? Sadly, it wasn't. As far as I know, we had as much trouble with other kinds of people. Even humans had a different color of skin. It's dumb, isn't it? Yeah, we had it too. Tigers wouldn't walk with dogs, for example. Uh, not that that... No, not that that's a thing I'm used to thinking all the time. But when I look at the, those kids, I think, Man, so much potential wasted on the past. We all could have a better life today if we stopped fighting about silly stuff sooner. Heh. <laughs> yeah, we think alike. A lot. And again, that's why I think we are all people, you know? We all have the same concerns, the same issues. In the end, we didn't want us to notice that, because that's a characteristic of any living thing that can think and use its brain more than just survival, right? In the end, we tend to be egoists. We can also be good. I'm happy we're achieving those good things little by little. He looks at me, his expression serious. A little surprised, maybe? And then he smiles. You're more amazing than I thought. Incredible. I'm not amazing, you're amazing. <laughs> oh, stop it, you. You're the one getting all philosophical here. I'm just enjoying your company while I have a good person to talk to. Besides, I'm happy you have content. You have, have you content, you know? You're just you're not just cute. I feel a little warm on my face. Not enough to make it turn red. Not yet. You're flatterer. I'm happy I found you here again. I mean, I didn't know where to find you after all. Oh, yeah, but it happens. I mean, we're not old friends or anything, and I don't think we know each other for too long to exchange contacts. Yeah, that's for sure. But I'm saying, like, of everyone I could meet here, I'm happy I found you today either. I found you today, too. We're free to go anywhere we want, but it's good to see we have the same taste, I guess. Alright, y'all, I'm actually gonna pause it right there. Thank y'all so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, ring that notification bell, and check out our Patreon if you can. It always helps. Before I go, I'm gonna give a quick shout out to our lovely bronze tier patrons. Thank y'all for I do for the channel. We greatly appreciate your support. Thank you for our silver tier patron, Cade Silverman. Thank you all, but above and beyond, it's greatly appreciated. Thanks to our three gold tier patrons, Zach, Zeke, Toby, and Blue Wolf Alpha. Y'all are awesome. We love you. Thank you for subbing to Ultimate Tier. Anyway, if y'all wanna get your names in the credits, get access to all of our, all of our, not, safe, all of our not safe for contents as little as $5. Alrighty, I love you all, and I'll see y'all in the next video. Bye bye! Bye.